Hello everyone and welcome to Pentagon. Here's today's problem. We have a regular hexagon with side length of 2 and inside it we have two squares also with side length 2 overlapping and creating a rectangular region. We need to find the area of this shaded rectangle. So please pause the video here if you'd like to try and solve this yourself. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do is draw a vertical line and cut our hexagon in two. All right now, as you can see, we have made four congruent right triangles, and each has a hypotenuse with a measure of two. All right. Now, what is the measure of one of the internal angles in a hexagon? Well, we can find that out using this formula. One hundred and eighty times n minus two all over n, where n is the number of sides in the polygon, in a regular polygon rather. And this is the formula to find the measure of an internal angle in a regular polygon. Well, now a hexagon has six sides, so let's substitute that in for n, and we get 180 times 6 minus 2 all over 6, or 180 times 4 over 6. And this simplifies to 120. All right. So the measure of this angle is 120. But we know, since this is an isosceles triangle, as both sides are congruent, this angle with measure of 120 is going to be bisected. It's going to be cut in half. So, each of the angles in the right triangle, the larger angle, will have a measure of 60 degrees, which means the smaller angle will measure 30 degrees. Well, so now we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Let's pull this triangle out onto the big screen. And here we have it. This is 60 degrees, and this is 30 degrees. All right. Now, the ratios of sides in a 30, 60, 90 triangle are as follows. X will be the shorter side. X times square root of 3 will be the longer side. And 2X is the hypotenuse. Now here we can see that our hypotenuse is 2. So that means 2X equals 2 or X equals 1. And this means in our... Uh, the measure of our shorter side is going to be equal to 1, and the measure of our longer leg will be a square root of 3. All right. But now let's take this square root of 3 and put it back in the context of our hexagon. This whole side length we've just established to be the square root of 3. But our square, this entire portion, has a side length of 2. Well, using this, we can find the area of this half of our shaded rectangle. And that's going to be... Two 
2 minus the square root of 3. But remember, this is only a half of one side of the rectangle. So to find the full side, we need to multiply this by 2. And we get that the shortest side of the rectangle is 4 minus 2 times the square root of 3. Now, we need to find the area of this rectangle. We already have the shorter side. And to find the area, we need to multiply the shorter side by the longer side. Well, what's the longer side? It's just 2. Right? It's 2. So to find the area, all we need to do is multiply 2 times 4 minus 2 radical 3. And the area of the rectangle will be 8 minus 4 radical 3. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you all, and I will see you in the next video.